Alright, but we gonna keep it moving here, man. We got another caller in the building. Hopefully everybody can hear me. We gonna bring in uh 615. Let me do this right. C double 34 music is in the building. In stereo. Ladies and gentlemen. You are now about to witness the strength of beat knowledge. What's up, family? Hey. <laughs> uh, you know, I got a question, though. I hold, 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 hold up, people. I got a real quick question for uh, C Double uh, Thirty Four Music here, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you catch the DSR cipher when we first started? Nope, was at work, so I had to do what I had to do. But you know I catch the play. All right. But I did catch All right, the no. storm when she shouted me out. Right. That's why I wanted to <laughs> touch on right there, man. Gina Storm already dropped the jewels before we could even put it out there, man. So without further ado, I'm going to say this to you. We consider you an honorary DSR member. This Jesus Storm already said in her piece, you know. <laughs> we put that out there, man. We consider you already our honorary member. You know that, we got 12. You know, but we consider you an honorary member, so you know all your support. We appreciate all the tracks you do, you know. And you calling in while you working and doing the damn thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So, first of all, all right. 2020, I hope we can see clearly. <laughs> you see what he did there? Wait, what was that? I said, you see what he did there with the little wordplay? Yeah, 2020, I hope you can see clearly. I hope we can see clearly. Yeah, mm -hmm. that man, that man, a walking word play. <laughs> we got Mr. Ferguson in the building, man. So what you got, man? You with the squad, Ray Harris, King Cadence, Gina Storm, Desire, myself, your mic. All right. So what I got here is a verbal undressing. the atmosphere gets sucked out of here when you come through the door people wanting to be happy to see you but you complain and moan to make things worse you yell at your man on the phone with such disrespect all because you think you're the queen squatting on a porcelain throne like Millie Jackson it's a wonder why he's still here you want to throw out but before you do you must shout at me like I'm your child you need to step off before I tell you what's up. Don't think I'm weak because I'm kind. You've been barking like a dog. And I don't call women words that degrade them, but there's a line. You're causing me to cross and I'm about to tell you off. You need to calm down and get off my behind. As a matter of fact, get off yours and don't worry about mine. I'm trying to stay loving in this midst of this darkness you brought in. I'm not subservient to you and we are equally dominant. Do you remember what the atomic bomb did? That is nothing compared to the damage I'll be causing you. It's not a threat, but I promise this path. Don't cross it. I'm that explosion inside and you're starting to process. Without counting, counting up the cost that will cause you embarrassing losses. Then you'll realize that contrary to popular belief, I'm the head in charge here. Just watch me. Watch this. Watch this. This ain't a pity long sermon. Concerning the truth I'm serving to make your penis start burning. I used to be a nice guy with a cherry curl called Cowboy Curtis. But you turned me into Furious Styles and you're gonna learn. 
be on the pavement figuratively like Debo because I'm not you to freak out like Craig did. Keep on messing with my emotions. And you'll find yourself up missing on Craigslist. I'm done here. I don't have my popcorn ready. You need my potato chips. I can't hang with you no more under the bridge like a Freemason snitch. I tried to be nice, but you made crooked my aim to please. Now you're abandoned like a prostitute attempting to make change on these naked streets. Be for real and sit down and listen. No, sit down like I'm Teddy Pendergrass. If you didn't hear it once, I'm telling you again, my name is Clarence with the clearance to kick ass with a hee-haw laugh. And that's my piece. C-double 34 music in the building, man, with the metaphors, man, beatboxing people's brains, their minds, I mean, catching people off guard, you know, I mean, if the bull don't make you think of like, like the great movies and stuff, man, with messages in them and stuff, man, boys in the hood do come to mind when this guy comes on and, you know, old school type of stuff like that, man, I mean, that's what... It just was the mind of certain pieces you put out there, man. I mean, <laughs> all right, man. I see what you did there. <laughs> wow. First off, I love the piece. And back in the day when we were, when I was in school, we had this thing that applies now. Um, you go ahead and hit her, and I'm gonna follow up. And that's how this piece made me feel. Whoever got you to a point where you was ready to, to verbally put the spanking on them, and I might add, this is probably the closest thing to me that I've heard you do, so I applaud it because, you know, you're, you're like really, you know, pleasant, good guyish, and this one let me know that there's another side of that, you know, so, you know, yeah, like I said, you swing on and I'll follow the play. Wow, that's just, that's wild. But um, my takeaway was this: um, serious style. I will be using his name in a piece because Boys in the Hood was not just a movie; it was also a metaphor. And you, that's how your poetry reads to me. So to hear you spit the pieces that you write is more of a treat for me than just to read it, even though I hear it in your voice in my head. So, ladies and gentlemen, producer extraordinary poet. And Ferguson Jr. and our brother here at DSR. Thank you. Desire. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I said, my takeaway was always, I'm always in awe of your pen. But what I took away today was reflection of my marriage or how I treat my male friends and in the relationships that I'm in. Um, that sometimes you give yourself license to to act a certain way and it's not that it's right but you give yourself life and I, and I it made me think about some things I've said maybe in the past or had a joke in me that may have hurt his feelings that I I mean I really don't mean to hurt my husband or my friend or, you know but there's no but but um, I keep saying it but uh, it made me reflect on that you know like maybe you know am I Am I hard to go? You know what I'm saying? Am I, am I that asshole person that took my man to the point where you're at? Have you gotten there before? You know, unknowingly, maybe knowing. But um, that's what I take away. It was a reflection. Give me some good thoughts. That's what it was. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, because I remember this um, saying in the thin line between love and hate. And I'm going to paraphrase, the sweetest person in the world can be the meanest person in the world if you make them that way. And I've left like situations husband. like that. It's time to go. There's no, I, I will never make that an excuse to hit a woman. I'm like, no, I got to go. Because if I don't, either, either we're going to be in jail or we're going to be dead. 